Well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Library Class at Home with Mr. S. This week, we are reading stories that are silly and stories that rhyme. Today, I have How Do You Hug a Porcupine? My goodness, why would you want to hug a porcupine? Do you know what a porcupine is? It's a little animal, about this big, but it's covered in sharp, spiky things called quills. And when a porcupine um, feels like something wants to eat it, it makes those quills stick out like sharp little needles. So I don't know that I'd want to hug a porcupine. But just in case you ever wanted to know how, um, at the end of this story, perhaps you will. Um, it was written by Lori Isop and it was illustrated by Gwen Millward. It's called, How Do You Hug a Porcupine? Can you hug a horse? Of course. A cow with arms around her neck. That's how. There she is hugging a cow. A dog or a cat is not so hard. Just hug them in your own backyard. Hugging bunnies is just divine. But how do you hug a porcupine? Hmm. Can you hug some billy goats? Entice them with a bag of oats. And surely you can hug a pig. Just spread your arms out extra big. With baby chicks, be sweet and kind. But how do you hug a porcupine? How do you hug a porcupine? Hmm, I don't know. This prickly fellow won't be easy. My stomach's feeling kind of queasy. He wears a coat of thorny quills. To hug one will take some skills. A hedgehog is a little prickly. An ostrich is a little tickly. A chimpanzee will hug you back. I've never tried to hug a yak. A giraffe requires quite a climb. But how do you hug a porcupine? Hmm. An elephant, please hug his trunk. And I wouldn't want to hug a skunk. A kangaroo, just hop this way. Don't let the dolphin slip away. A panda probably wouldn't mind. But how do you hug a porcupine? You must go slowly, never hurry. Porcupines aren't soft or furry. His quills defend him from his foes. But I'm his friend, he surely knows. At last, hooray, it's finally time. This is how you hug a porcupine. <gasps> Carefully. <laughs> do, you, do you get it? Carefully? Because they're covered in things. Ah, forget it. So that was my story for the day. It was, how do you hug a porcupine? What's your favorite animal to hug? In my lifetime, let's see, I've hugged dogs and cats and hedgehogs and rabbits and mice and I hugged a squirrel once, but I don't really like to talk about it. You tell me, if you could hug any kind of animal, what kind of animal would you hug? Leave me a comment on my Google Classroom page, and don't forget to click the Turned In button so that I know you've seen this story. And uh, you know what? It's the end of the week. We made it to Friday. How exciting. I hope you guys have a great and safe weekend. If the weather's nice, maybe go outside a little bit and take in the air. But don't forget to uh, social distance yourself from other people. Remember, we have to stay away from people at least six feet. That way we're safe during this time, this crazy pandemic we live in. Um, I hope everybody's remembering to wash your hands. And I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you guys Monday. Monday, we're going to do a whole new set of books. Um, and that's really about it. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Spaghetti. Porcupine eating a carrot. Porcupine eating a carrot. A lady hands him a carrot, and then he's all a num a num num num. Porcupine loves a carrot. Climbs up. A guy is watching him eat a carrot And then he's all a num a num 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 Yeah, this is for real, people When I first saw you eating that carrot I knew you were no ordinary porcupine And then he's all a num a num 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 Some people want to take your carrot And give it to the greedy rich giraffe But you just keep on eating that carrot Because you are the porcupine Porcupine
num 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 num